and welcome to Plymouth at War and Peace. Today you find Andy and I at a field somewhere near Plymouth on a glorious summer morning. see there what appears to be a nice uh, to me I'd call it shrapnel but to Andy that would be uh, sacrilege why don't we call shrapnel shrapnel Andy what is shrapnel um, shrapnel is a term given to originally the lead ball bearings inside a, a airburst shrapnel shell um, used in the First World War and, and prior to that um, these I would call shell fragments. Shell fragments, but to the layman, they shrapnel. Not shrapnel. I don't know what this is, Andy. You're going to love this. That is Andy. It's a base plug from a uh, Mills bomb. Get it. Yeah. Lovely. Good signal here, Andy. Yeah. Another bit of two inch mortar fuse. Right, cup of tea, Andy. We've had a great day today and found some really interesting finds. We're going to take it back to the office and have a look at all the stuff we found. Hope you enjoyed that episode. We're here today talking about the bits and bobs that we found. Uh, Andy, what you got there? Hi Dave, this is a um, part of a number 199 um, igniferous fuse used on 3.7 inch anti-aircraft rounds. So a uh, powder train time fuse uh, versus the later mechanical ones. The 199 was the, the last of the uh, powder burning type. Mm -hmm. uh, this has lost its uh, aluminium or white metal cone which often corrode away um, but you can see the timing marks quite clearly around the base here. I've got to just say as well that this isn't one we actually found today this is one that um, I think I picked up from a, a charity shop etc but it's a good example mm -hmm. but what we did find today are the other bits um, of a similar yeah, these are from a later mark of a, a, a time fuse, uh, a mechanical one for the 3.7 inch. Um, and again, a nice piece of um, timing ring showing the graduations for the, uh, the setting of the, the time in seconds. Um, and a, a, another bit here from, well, obviously blown apart. Um, we also found today uh, quite a few bits of driving band. Now these are the um, brass or copper more likely ring that um, went around the circumference of the shell um, serves two purposes it um, bites into the rifling of the barrel and stabilizes the shell in flight also acts as a gas check um, quite often these are found in, in 
bits this size in the First World War. Soldiers often found larger bits and they were turned into um, letter openers and all sorts of bits of trench art. Amongst our finds today, we also found quite a few bits of uh, number 151 fuse. Um, these are made of a white Mazak type alloy, a zinc based alloy. Um, and these are fuses for two inch HE mortar rounds. Um, always found in pieces. Very rare that you would ever see a complete one. I think. And uh, then can we talk about these? These are what I'm, I particularly liked and uh, you may have seen how chuffed I was to have found one of these. Um, the one Andy's got there I found a while ago and then today we found another one. What are they Andy? These are um, base plugs from uh, number 36 Mills bombs, uh, so hand grenades, um, both stamped number 36 M, the M was the uh, model number that stood for, uh, M stood for Mesopotamia and these are Mark 1. Um, this one is dated 1940 and this one 42. Interesting that we should find these along with the two inch mortar bits, really. Um, and what were these made of again? They are also made of a white metal um, Mazak or similar zinc alloy. Yeah, yeah we, we, we're trying to put together why we're finding all these kind of items uh, in this area, which is uh, an undisclosed field near Plymouth. Um, I've done lots of research and haven't found anywhere saying that it was used as a military training ground. Um, and I voiced my opinion quite a while ago on Twitter that I thought it might be in an area where either home guard trained or um, even an auxiliary unit, one of Churchill's stay behinds, where they trained. Um, it's just that we seem to be finding some random stuff like mortars, mills bombs, kind of things that you usually wouldn't find lying in a field in the United Kingdom. Anyway. A good day's hunting. Good day's hunting, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, Remember, if you do find any unexploded ordnance, uh, leave it where it is, mark the position, and then uh, report it to the police. Madame, this.